بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم My dear Tajweed learners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are going to read the Tajweed rules in the light of Surah Al-Ikhlas. This is Surah number 112 and this is Makki Surah. Let's the recite this Surah first. Later on we will discuss Tajweed rules from this Surah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ Dear Tajweed learners, this surah contains four ayahs. And in every ayah, there is Tajweed rule to be applied. For example, when we read the first ayah, قُلْ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ قولي. Remember there is difference between كا sound and قاف sound. قاف. قاف. This is قولي. Not قولي. Because there is difference in the meaning as well. When we read قولي. قولي. قاف. 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 قولي. قول meaning say. Say something. But when we mispronunciate as قولي. قولي. قاف sound. which is in Makkah, Kaaf sound. The meaning is altogether different. Then its meaning would be Koli, eat something. So see, please avoid this mistake. Koli, Koli, Hu Allah, Hu Allah, Hu, Hu. Do not mix this voice with the Ha sound. Ha is different sound. Ha is different sound. Ha is among Harufi Halqiyya. Halqi letters, throat letters. From the deepest of throat is Hamza and Ha. This is Ha. Huwa, Huwa, Huwa. Qul Huwa Allah, Allah, Allah. Remember the rules of the La, of the Lam. Lam, everywhere in the Quran, Lam would be pronounced as light. Lam. But when it is in the word Allah, this is called Lami Jalala. Lami Jalala has different principle. The Lam in the word Allah has a separate principle. It depends altogether on the vowling sign on the letter before it, before the word Allah. If the letter before it carries Mamma or Fatha, then it would be pronunciated as heavy. Lame Mufakham, heavy sound. Allah, Allah, not Allah, Allah, no. If the letter before Allah carry Kasra, then it would be pronunciated as light. Billahi, Fillahi. If it carries letter before it, Mamma or Fatha, then heavy, Mufakham. Allah, Qul Huwa Allah, Huwa Allah, Huwa Allah, Hu Ahad, Ahad, Ahad. If you could notice when I am ending this ayah, Ahad, I am giving a bit echo to it, to the Da sound, Ahad, Ahad. We have to pronounce it here, a Qalqala. Qalqala has three types, Qalqala weak, Qalqala strong and Qalqala strongest. First type of Qalqala called Qalqala Sughra where we have to produce light echo. And then next one produce the next level of echo which is called strong Qalqala, strong echo. Then the next is the highest and the strongest level of echo which is called Qalqala Kubra. Qalqala Sughra when the Qutub Jaddin, the letter, five letters of Qutub Jaddin and the Qalqala letters, when they carry jazm or sukoon in it and we are going to work on that, then there is a light Qalqala. 
if the kutub jaddin the five qalqala letters qaf ta ba jim dal if these letters carries zamma fatha or kasra or tanween and we do waqf there we stop there or we hold our voice then there would be middle qalqala or qalqala wusta or the strong qalqala as the case the here in this aya ahad da 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 carries tanween if the letter qaf ta ba jim dal the kutub jaddin the any letter of them carries shad then there would be strongest qalqala the kubra qalqala more echo in the voice for example in the upcoming sura suratul lahab tabbat yada abi lahab wa tab tab so tab ba sound carries shad as well so strong qalqala Kal strongest qalqala qalqala kubra the, the this type of example is not available in today's session in today's aya in today's sura suratul ikhlas so there is the wusta qalqala ahad ahad allahu samad allahu samad allah lam jalala lam fakham full and heavy allah not allah allah allahu samad hus samad this is as samad lam will be simulated silent in written is available but not in the pronunciation in pronunciation who sound will touch directly to the sa sound hus samad hus samad not hul samad because the sa is among shamsi letter those letter which are shamsi there is difference between shamsi letter and qamri letter among all of the alphabets of arabic there are 14 letters which are shamsi letter whenever shamsi letter comes after the alif lam then they, the lam sound would be simulated would not be pronunciated as uh, the case here a samad sad is among shamsi letter so we will pronunciate as allahu samad hus samad not hul samad samad again there is qalqala rule qalqala wusta for the strong qalqala samad so dal carries wamma and uh, the breath is broken here and we are doing waqf here allahu samad middle qalqala strong qalqala samad lam yalid wa lam yulad lam yalid wa lam yulad again lam yalid wa lam yulad so i'm giving light echo to lam yalid but giving more echo and strong to the yulad c because of the difference i recently explained to you in the last aya lam yalid dal carries jazm so that is why there is light echo but yulad actually you ladu it carries mamma on it when we stop here we have to produce here the middle qalqala qalqala wusta or the strong qalqala you can say lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad wa lam yakul lahu yakul lahu si actually what is written here lam yakun lahu yakun lahu but this is not the way to recite it lam yakul lahu we have to merge the noon into lam because there is rule of noon sakin noon tanween we have to apply here there are four different rules for the noon sakin and noon tanween this is noon sakin but other places in the quran will experience noon tanween when there is double wamma fatha kasra this is called noon tanween because whenever we pronunciate tanween sound there is it comes by the end it turn into noon sakin for example ahadun abadan so tanween pronunciation means noon sakin by the end sound 
or actually known sakin available wherever for example here lam yakun lam yakun known is sakina just on it sakina so it has four different rules either idgham either ikhla either ikhfa or either izhar four different rules in other session you will have all of the differences between these four rules idgham ikhfa ikhla and ikhfa idgham ikhla idgham means to merge the sound when idgham will happen when there are letters among jar malun after noon sakin or noon tanween ja ra mim lam waw noon these are six letters called jar malun whenever any of the jar malun letters comes after the noon sakin and noon tanween there would be idgham performed merge merging the voice noon voice almost would be lost and it would be uh, merged into the next letter ja or ra or mim lam waw noon whichever comes among the jar malun so same case is here lam yakun lahu not lam yakun lahu yakun lahu this is wrong lam yakun lahu lam yakun lahu so there would be merging idgham lam yakun lahu although there is separate rule in the idgham as well in four letters idgham bil gunna in two letters idgham bila gunna if ra or lam comes after noon sakin and noon tanwi idgham will be without gunna because on lam sounds it doesn't go to the nasal passage there would be no gunna same in the in the ra ra and lam comes after the noon sakin noon tanwi absolutely no gunna it would be idgham bila gunna bighair al gunna if comes other letters other four letters ja comes or mim comes or waw comes or noon comes then would be idgham ma'al gunna with gunna so in this case there is coming lam after noon sakin so it would be idgham bila gunna lam yakun lahu lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad kufuwan ahad kufuwan means kufuwan ahad so here again there is tanwi noon sakin but after noon sakin there is coming hamsa which is among halqi letters throat letters the rule of throat letters is that whenever there is any throat letters comes after noon sakin noon tanween so they would stop the gunna kufu wan ahad no this is absolutely wrong kufu wan ahad kufu wan ahad because a a is among huruf halqiya and it is going to stop gunna if there is another letter any other then huruf halqi letter comes after one one sound this tanween sound definitely there would have been gunna but there is a sound so there is no gunna kufu wan ahad wa lam yakun lahu kufu wan ahad huruf khalqiya must stop ghunna ahad ahad same principle which is all already explained to you there would be middle ghunna or you can say wusta ghun uh, there would be qalqala wusta or you can say strong qalqala ahad wa lam yakun lahu kufu wan ahad qul huwa allah ahad follow me qul huwa allah ahad qul huwa allah ahad allah samad allah samad lam yalid wa lam yulad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad sadaqallahu alazim by this we conclude today's tajweed session hope you have learned 
about these rules in tajweed of uh, surah al-ikhlas may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq hidayah and give us istiqama on tajweed learning leave us a comment appreciation and i welcome you uh, any suggestions wa ma alayna illa al-balagh al-mubin